News weekend, joined at the desk here with meteorologist Zach Duhame. And that winter weather wrapped up, and now yeah. it looks like we're going to have a clear day ahead at least. Exactly. It's one of the busiest weekends of the year for shopping and maybe super some even Saturday. traveling. So yeah, super Saturday. There we go. And uh, right now it looks good. Uh, you know, in the yeah. hill towns are going to be plowing and shoveling snow, but just about 95% of us are dealing with just cloudy conditions this morning, breezy by the afternoon, and even some pockets of sun a flurry this morning. And then really no weather troubles with temperatures in the upper 30s to right around 40, which is pretty much where they should be. A little bit of a wind will make it feel a little bit colder. So a winter-like day nonetheless, but a dry forecast for today and really for tomorrow and for a long period of time. We're going to talk about uh, a bigger storm in about six or seven days, and that could be our only chance to add the potential for a white Christmas. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But 35 degrees west wind at five wind chill at 31, so not terrible out there, but definitely on the chilly side. So some leftover snow showers. Let me get out of the way near North Adams, weakening towards Pittsfield. Uh, the steadier snow towards Gardner and Worcester heading on out, and we have a storm spinning off the Cape Cod coast. That's where it is right now, and it's going to be heading out to sea. There we go. Wait a minute. Ah, ah, there we go. Magic, right? And it goes out to sea and up towards Nova Scotia. So we're on the colder side right now, but it's weakening. So that's why the snow's moving on out. All the advisories and warnings have been expired, which is the good news. And see back to here, a little slice of nice, a little bit of sun may peak out by the afternoon with a breezy northwest wind. So future cast is pretty boring really throughout the next few days or several days really at that. Temperatures on either side of 40 degrees across northeast. The keen, the coolest spot at 19 by 9 o'clock, 32 in Springfield. A couple snow showers along the Berkshires can't be ruled out uh, late tonight and early tomorrow morning. The same thing on Sunday morning, uh, uh, Monday morning, I mean, with temperatures that will be again tomorrow in the mid to upper 30s, uh, low 40s in some towns. I think in here, maybe 36, 38 will be the average high for tomorrow across Springfield and across northeast. We are high and dry for tomorrow. Now, wind chill for Sunday morning for those heading to maybe sunrise services or anything like that. 18 in Springfield, 12 in Pittsfield, 16 in Worcester. So for those doing any traveling, a dry but chilly Sunday forecast with wind chills again starting off in the teens and 20s across the area. Now, dreaming of a white Christmas, let's look at the meter. We're going to put it at it's possible. Not a, we don't need a miracle uh, right now. Uh, maybe next year, uh, looking good, bring, sing it, bring it. We're going to go with it's possible right now because there is a big storm. Let's talk about that storm right now. So that is your next weather maker, really the only weather maker of the week. So it's a boring uh, forecast, good for those traveling Monday through Wednesday, even into Thursday, but then Thursday into Friday. This spells trouble, a big storm likely with rain or snow. That's the million dollar question we're going to try to answer throughout the week. Lots of wind potentially, so a very big storm to impact a good part of the country. Great Lakes down to the south, northeast, and again, this would potentially bring us some snow and maybe some rain uh, come uh, Thursday into Friday. All the details have to be ironed out all week long, but the potential is there for a white Christmas with this or a, what we call a Grinch storm, which is a big rainstorm like most of us just saw here. No matter what happens with that storm, a cold pool of air follows. Jet stream dips down way to the south. Could be very cold even in Florida for Christmas here. Cold air in place. Look at the temperature forecast below average right to the Christmas holiday weekend likely. This weekend's forecast 40 degrees, 37 today. A little bit more breezy. Also, I have to give a wedding day shout out to Alyssa and Kevin. Happy wedding day. Can't wait to celebrate with you guys in Connecticut this evening. Tomorrow, not quite as cold or quite as windy, but still on the chilly side. And their 10 day forecast it looks like this. Again, not bad today. Pretty boring all week long. We have to watch that Thursday into early Saturday time frame. This is when we have to watch that storm, rain or snow. Too early to tell. Could be a lot of both or a lot of one, depending on what we get. Right now, Christmas and Christmas Eve looks dry but blustery with highs only in the 20s, lows in the teens. Wind chill is probably in the single digits, so bundle up for Christmas right now. Let's hope we get a white storm, not a wet storm, for late in the week.